Hi everybody, it's Johnny Cash Travels and we are here today at Amteto's Kitchen in Cape Town. Beautiful um, location and we've just arrived here and we're going to try something that we've never tried before that is for me a crazy dish but I hope <laughs> that we will uh, enjoy it and I'm sure that we will because it is, it is it's something that I've always wanted to, to, to do. So it's the smiley and John is going to explain what smiley is and then we're going to video, uh, we're going to take the camera to Mteto and he's going to show us how the smiley looks. <laughs> with a smiley is back in Joburg where everyone kind of gets together and they have this thing at the workplace, at the office, they get it on a table and people share, they just dig in with their hands and eat. Um, I have never had it, but uh, yeah, so tonight is going to be my first time trying this out, um, even though I've seen this in workplaces all over Joburg, um, but it's going to be my first time tonight. So we've got the, uh, we've had the pleasure of actually coming to Mteto's Kitchen that is located in the Malmerton area, is it? No, Table View. Table View area, okay. This is Mteto's house, I'm just going to introduce you to Mteto. Hello. Hi Mteto, how are you doing today? I'm very well, how are you guys? Good, good. Thank you so much for um, letting us come to your beautiful house and um, trying out your awesome food that we're very excited to try. Can you tell us a little bit about the smiley, what it is and what we can expect, how does it taste? <laughs> so smiley sheep's head, it's sheep's head, uh, some call it scopo, some call it ngai, uh, there's so many names to it. Um, basically sheep's head, cooked sheep's head, um, yeah it's, 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 it's boiled, prepared, that's how it's prepared and then it's very soft, it's very soft, it's just, some people like to mix it with pap, some people with steamed bread, and something spicy like I will serve you with ichakalak, something really spicy to give you a cake. Okay, awesome. So we're excited to try this and we are definitely going to have a look at the smiley just now. Cool. <laughs> What we're doing right now is we are going to be unwrapping the scopo that is the sheep's head. Kashi is doing the honors. I can actually just feel how soft that actually looks and I hope you can actually see properly but this is how it looks. This is a small one. I imagine it gets really big and this, the minute that I open it you can actually just smell the aroma of the meat and that's mm. a very different aroma and it's not something that I'm generally used to but I'm very excited to try this so um, I'm gonna do it exactly like how I've seen other people teach me to do it wow that meat is so soft I don't <laughs> want to hack into this I want to do it very gracefully and uh, you need a packet of wet wipes next to you when you do this <laughs> but the meat the first layer is very gelatinous. Mm. It's different, it's soft, and it's very, very tender. Mm. It's very much the flavor of the actual animal itself. Mm. As I'm, you know, chewing, I guess you can compare it to trotters and you know, any type of meat that has a lot of jelly and fat in its layer. Mm, I like it, it's very nice. I think I'd probably eat this with a bit more sauce, which I'm about to do. There's chakalaka here, so we're definitely going to open up this um, packet of chakalaka just now. Yeah, um, I like it, it's good. I, I just had a bite of this, and uh, there's, a, there's a, <laughs> another bite coming up. And it's really, really good. Um, it's quite different to your general, like if you're thinking about just, um, you know, different cuts of, of meats, different cuts of the animal. Um, the meat here is really, really soft. Um, it does have a little bit of the gelatinous kind of texture to it, but it's not gelatinous. It's still like meaty, but um, it's very different to the, to the rest of the body of the animal that you would be eating usually. Hey guys, we are continuing the scopo journey. I still haven't had any to taste. You can see over here, Kashi has just unveiled the uh, the chakalaka over here. And Teto says it's 
spicy. It's going to give you some spicy chakalaka. So chakalaka is actually a, a, a traditional South African relish and it's made with tomatoes and carrots and beans. I see there's a lot of beans here and peppers and so there's a whole bunch of things and he said it would be quite spicy and I think it's going to be the perfect flavor addition to this um, scopo which is our sheep's head. Um, so we've got the steamed bread as well to go with that so I'm hoping that um, you know the flavors I want to see like how the flavors actually go together because um, right now I'm tasting a lot of really tasty tender meat but I want more of that flavor of the spices and things to come and mix in here and I'm actually really looking forward to that so let's try both in combination That's a lot of flavor. It's a lovely, spicy, tender. This is nice. This is very nice. Okay, so I hope we're doing this justice. We're trying to do this as much justice as we can, given the fact that we don't, we don't have never tried this before. But if you hit here, this is bone. That's bone. There's a lot of lovely soft meat to tear away from the mouth and the lip area, but you shouldn't feel squeamish because now you can actually start to see the jaw area. Um, and if you haven't actually tried this before, I think it could be difficult um, tearing some of this meat away. But the meat is so soft and tender. It's just so, so, so tender. I can't emphasize that enough. Um, yes, it's gelatinous, but I think if you're, you're a lover of gelatinous meat, you'll really like this a lot. It's good. And then the combination with the chakalaka and the steamed dumpling, I mean, it really goes. So I'm going to try to get as much of this meat off of the bone as possible. Um, you really got to use your hands though and you really have to, um, I mean you can't eat this with a knife and fork, you really need to just dig in and, and do your best to try and get as much meat as possible and if you're brave enough, I guess you can break this jaw and kind of go at it with your teeth. I'm not very squeamish but I think uh, this is difficult for me. <laughs> Alright, All right, so we are wrapping up our Scopo experience. The meat was really tasty and you know if that's coming from someone like me who's generally pretty squeamish i mean you'll hear from kashi at some point in these videos i'm super squeamish so if i was able to eat that meat anybody can eat that meat and it was really really tasty it was tender so nice and soft and succulent um and what i liked is that it was just kind of so full of flavor um so absolutely i'd recommend that